But we're 20 yards away from this buck. Now, where is our albino? Oh my god, there he is right there. Look at the pink eye. It's been so long since I've actually seen white teal in this location here. And we happen to have a beautiful buck out there at about 400 yards. There's another good one there as well. I'm going to try and take him on the follow-up. But for now... I want to try and smoke this one here at about 400. I believe if we hold right for the center of the lung, we should be perfect because we're quite elevated from here. Woo! And another awesome shot as well. I honestly wasn't anticipating on dropping that one buck, to be honest. But we're going to let that one be for now because typically what you want to do is shoot only the biggest ones. And if there's a small one in the area, then leave him for the next time but yeah a beautiful shot to start off the hunt deer wow um i actually moved my tent from this location because i haven't even seen a single whitetail down here but in this case i think it deserves my tent to come back and actually in all honesty we only ran 200 yards and that's how we were able to spot these whitetail down here so what i might do is just keep going back to that lodge and not even use a tent in this location here because if i don't have to burn a tent then i'm not gonna that buck actually has a borderline down potential rack but he's not quite i would say that's like a 230 rack a really respectable buck but we'll pick this one up first here and it's going to be a 172 a nice double lung shot there really decent buck i actually don't mind that rack at all and then this buck here, 227, pulled off a 398 yard double lung heart shot. I mean, that shot right there was right on the money. <laughs> Take a look right over there. There's something that's really light colored, but typically I would say it's probably going to be an elk or maybe even a moose. In this case here, that's a white tail. And not only that, it's a white tail buck which is pretty awesome and i believe i've only ever seen maybe one or two albino whitetails and i don't think i have any in my trophy lodge so in this case here we got a super cool rare albino whitetail buck and we're gonna try and take him down with the recurve bow as we're sneaking up on this buck i want to show you exactly how we found this buck and the importance of what we did to find this buck we're over here on the very east end of the map by mount leviathan and i had a tent right here typically i've been getting a lot of white tail bucks here right but then i walked over here and found some tracks from white tail and that's how whoa i discovered that there's actually a white tail zone right here i never knew it was there and the reason that I never knew it was there is not because I wasn't looking, but it's because we had our tent set up way too close to that location. And by doing that, we weren't able to uh, find this zone of whitetail here. So every time you spawn in, if you're closer than 250 yards or 250 meters, I should say, um, the zone is not going to appear. You're going to still see the tracks, but you're not going to see any whitetail here or any animals here. So I kept looking there over and over and I didn't see anything. But then today I saw some tracks and when I saw the tracks, I decided to put up a tent and then I fast traveled to the other side over there. And when I looked back over across, that's when we saw him. Now it's going to be very difficult to see this white teal, even though it is of course, in fact, white. Yes, that's going to make it stand out quite well. And I'm very thankful for that. But we're going to be way up high here looking down and he's also in a bunch of super thick brush here. So the fact that he is white is going to definitely help us find him. <laughs> Quite a bit better. And there he is right there 60 yards away. Man, I didn't know we'd find him that fast. But there he is. Let's go prone and try and make a move on this beautiful white tail buck. All right, we should be approaching 40 yards out from this albino whitetail here. I can't see him because it's really, really thick here. And even if I crouched up, I still can't see him. But we have really good cover and we have a perfect wind. So we're going to try and get as close as we can here without getting too close and spooking him. All right, I see the doe right there. Oh, 
there's a doe right on top. Actually, that is not a doe. That is definitely not a doe, guys. There's a buck right on top of us. Right there. A very small buck, but we're 20 yards away from this buck. Now, where is our albino? Oh my god, there he is right there. Look at the pink eye. Wow. What a sweet buck. He's only 35 yards out from us, so he's definitely, definitely in range. But we don't quite have a shot yet because he's behind that grass. Imagine if that was him right here. If that was him right here, we would definitely take the shot. And he'd already be on the ground, I'll tell you that much. But since he's a little bit further away, we're going to have to be kind of patient. Nonetheless, there he is. What an incredible species of a whitetail buck right there. Man, that is awesome. Absolutely incredible buck. Let's take a cool picture as a matter of fact. I mean, just the fact that we got this close to a super cool rare buck, which I believe he's going to score somewhere around 170, 160, 170 probably. But there he is. I wouldn't mind taking a 40 yard shot. I really wouldn't mind it, but I don't want to take the shot through that brush. That's the one thing I don't want to do. And if I call at all, this buck's going to come right to me and mess up our entire hunt. What if I slide this way a little bit and then call? almost too good oh my god i didn't expect it to work that good holy there's deer everywhere here there was another buck right on top of us there i never even saw him i don't know where he even came from but there's our albino right there 20 yards out just a little bit too much brush for a shot all right he should step forward though Still no shot. We're sitting here less than 20 yards away from this rare albino whitetail buck. And now I can't. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There he is. Dude, we just smoked him. Oh, what an epic shot. Giant rare albino whitetail buck is down. Well, he's not an absolute giant, but he's a beautiful, rare albino buck. And I wanted to take the shot crouch, but that wouldn't work. So what I decided to do is stand up all the way, come to full draw. And we had him there at about less than 10 yards away. And we smoked him. Let's get over there and have a look at this super cool, rare albino whitetail buck. This might be one of my coolest rare whitetail that I've ever gotten in Call of the Wild. I honestly think it might be. It's funny because every time I make a statement like that, you guys always call me out and say, oh no, DD, you already have that one, you know, 140 albino whitetail that you shot before. And uh, I'm like, yeah, you're right. But in this case here, I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be our coolest rare whitetail buck. Besides the pie ball. Definitely our coolest rare albino. All right, let's take an amazing picture of him. Actually, is that the only picture I took? I got distracted by talking too much there and uh, I don't remember how many pictures we took, but actually that worked out really good because the lighting turned out amazing there. And let's pick him up now and let's find out what he's gonna be. Oh, a 171 rare albino whitetail buck. Took him at 11 yards out with the recurve bow and made an awesome lung liver stomach shot. Right behind that front shoulder, 171 albino. What a sweet, sweet, sweet rare. And that is going right up in the front and center of our trophy lodge. 
So yeah, again, if you guys want to know where we found that rare albino whitetail, it was right over here by the Southern Ridge Mount Leviathan on the very southeast end of the map down here. This little lake right here, and we took him down right here at about 1300 in the afternoon. Just to show you guys something pretty cool, we just took down that rare albino whitetail buck right in that exact spot. That means that that albino spawned in this giant whitetail buck. That's pretty cool. I mean, I never would have thought a max weight buck would come out of that buck. Yeah, it was a decent whitetail and a rare as well, but to be able to come back as a max weight whitetail, that's pretty cool. So we're gonna finish it off with a nice 300 yard shot on that buck. All right, here he is, and let's have a look at this whitetail. We're gonna finish it off with a 218 gold, nice double lung shot at 312 yards. But on that note there, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.